So in terms of my standard tools in the trade, I use fairly traditional stuff. Um, so obviously a pencil, an eraser. I like to use the white plastic erasers. They're very soft. For us comic nerds, this is a whole topic of discussion where you want to have an eraser that actually takes the pencil marks off without rubbing away at some of the ink. And so some people like to use plastic erasers, kneaded erasers. It's all about the white plastic for me. These are just like maybe two or three dollar technical pens. The way that I letter, uh, the lettering looks better when you're applying pressure to it, uh, which means that the pens run out a lot quicker than you think. Half of this is like a pile of junk at this point. You just fish around and you find the best nib you can find, the best tip you can find. I use black India ink. Occasionally I'll water it down a bit because you know, ink is basically alive. It's like there's water in there that's constantly evaporating into the room. And also you can smell when, you can smell and feel when the ink begins to go bad. I'm very liberal with my ink use because by the time I get to the bottom of one of these pint containers of ink, the ink is rotten. Being conservative with my ink use helps no one because I'm just going to have to throw the ink away. Fortunately, I love to use a lot of black on my pages. Usually about half of it is with a Hunt Crowquill nib. It's got two sharp little prongs and when you press down, it kind of opens up the space in between where the ink flows through. It becomes really, comes super zen at a certain point because you're really just focused on the gap that's between the two prongs on your nib. I do most, probably a little more than half with a brush. I use a number two sable watercolor brush and you can get some incredibly fine lines and very broad lines and wonderful dry brush strokes. Um, it's, it's extremely versatile. It just took a few years of constant practice to kind of get comfortable enough to, to use it. What, what makes it so accessible is the fact that, you know, this piece of paper cost me a dollar. And, uh, you know, the brush might be 20 or $25, but the nibs are only about a dollar a piece. Uh, and a brush will last you about 20 to 30 pages. Uh, you're able to, to knock out a page for less than, less than $2 a page, I'd say, in terms of materials and supplies. So you can experiment a lot, you can fail a lot, and it doesn't really matter. You always have a chance to try wild stuff because it really is a very low stakes game.